I done lost my brother's blood. I done lost my brother's blood. I done lost my brother's blood. Oh, and I seek revenge. Don't forgive me for I've been on my sins. Hey, for the love that you heard. For the love that you took when you were huh? My brother blood My brother's blood Sinning no idol You're not no god You're not no idol You Hey, what has two thumbs and a great foot? This guy. 10 more minutes. Come on, honey. I've got a present for you. All right, you got my attention. How about for one night, you forget about this kid and join me on a journey to an exotic land? It's, uh, it's 11 p.m. Where will we be going? I'll be journeying through the wonders of your body. <laughs> I know, I know, corny, right? Just a little. Just give me 10 more minutes and then I'm all yours. Every night? I'm trying. We haven't made love in months. <laughs> Just give me 10 more minutes and then you can explore every inch of my body. That's what I'm talking about. Carol, just, just go to sleep. We will meet at 1 a.m. sharp. Be discreet. Tell no one. This is off the books. I can lose my job working on this. We may be killed. We don't know how deep this is. Raven, this is Carol. She's the reporter who's working on your brother's case. I don't know reporters cared so much. Well, I don't like cover-ups and corruption makes for a good story. I'm sorry for your loss. Carol's been my eyes and ears on the streets. People don't like talking to cops, but they love making headlines. Therefore, they'll talk to her. Sounds good. What's the plan? We can't meet up again. We'll contact each other via burner phones. Carol, you watch the streets as usual. Raven, don't take your brother's case personal. As of right now, you need to be focused on the objective, no matter how hard things may get. I'm good, I promise. I just want this to be over with. Hold on, what do you mean? Collect as much information on your brother's best friend, Dante. Raven, are you sure you can do this? I won't take it personal as long as I get justice for my brother. What about you, Smock? What are you gonna do? I have some unfinished business with Davis. I'll be keeping my eyes on him. I need to find out how many of us are corrupt. Money on me and I'm sweet. You ever fucking threaten me? <laughs> or what, Mr. Dashi? Exactly what are you gonna do to me if I don't? I don't think I'm gonna test my patience, Melissa. You know what? I'm glad you are a lawyer. Cause you're gonna need one when I'm done with you. You know what? I'm done with you! And by the way, your hair wasn't even all that good anyway. I bet your wife would have liked it! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh
Okay, who the hell is in my house? This ain't funny. Come on, what the... Shit. What the hell? <laughs> Schmack, where have you been, man? Wrapped up in a meeting. For 1.30 in the morning? This better be good. This late? Doc, what are we looking at? Uh, Afro-American male. The victim's name is Malik Gibson, age 27. Cause of death? Strangulation. All the major bones broken and then strangled. Time of death? Between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Two days ago. So who reported the body? Um, the neighbor lady, uh, Miss Miller. She said two days ago she heard screaming. Okay. All right, let me go see what information I can get from her. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. Miss Miller? Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Detective Smart. Nice to meet you, sir. Can you tell me what happened? Um, yes, sir. I live right below him. Okay. And I can um, even hear him when he's walking in the apartment and everything. But the other night I heard him screaming. But I didn't pay it any mind. I thought it was maybe one of them little hot ladies he always bring home. So I didn't, you know, even think about it. But after two days, I didn't hear him or see him. That's the reason why I called you all. Okay. So... Did he do anything out of the ordinary prior to the other night? Um, the only thing I remember that he, he did out of the ordinary was when he dropped out of school. And after he dropped, he dropped out of school. When he dropped out of school, and um, he was upset about something that was on television about a kid um, getting killed by a cop. There was a lot of people upset about that. No, not not like him. Not like him. He, he was a juror on the case. And the, how I know that he was a juror, he asked me to watch his place until he was finished with the case. All right, let's make sure we get a couple of uniformed cops up here to rope off this area and keep the crime scene sterile. We don't want nobody messing this thing up. Thanks. Smart, is that you? Look different without my bullet in your leg. Did you ever tell Captain what really happened at training? Hmm. That a dog got put down and he's been in a pissing match ever since I made detective? Nah, I don't shit where I lay. If he caged long enough, he'll shit anywhere. Let me tell you something. You might have all these other people fooled, but I see right through your bullshit. Are we good here, man? Yeah, we're good. Everything's fine. We can get back to work. Oh, and Davis. You look kind of friendly at the park yesterday. Chris, what the hell was that about? Now we got here, so I'll tell you about it. You're good? Yeah, I'd be a lot better if I ain't got called in here at 1.30 in the morning. Man, she was fine, son. You got a sister? You tell me what you got, what you got man. All right.
you still have patience to see. How about you? Mine's alright, you know, kind of tough dealing with that case, Gary Stevenson. So, what is it that you wanted to tell me, babe? Nothing. I have to say. Well, now, how long have we been married? Seven years. Five years. And do you know what I've learned in those five years of being married with you? You never go out on a weekday in the middle of the afternoon unless you're feeling guilty about something. So what is it? Huh. Listen, I just wanted to take you out for lunch. That's it. So sweet. Now spill it. I'm not hiding anything. I love you. I'm glad you texted me. I've been meeting to- I cheated on Joanne. It wasn't my fault though, Melissa just, just threw herself on me. And now she's trying to blackmail me. What? You're cheating on Joanne? Shh, shh. Yes! Are you listening? What do you think I should do? Maybe I'm not the best person to ask. Why? Rachel and I haven't spoken in days. I mean, well, she texted me, but I don't know. Just be honest with her. Tell her the truth. Now, come on. You know Joanne. She'll take me for every penny I'm worth and get me disbarred. She can't do that, can she? Joanne has been through everything with me. But she has a tiny bit of evidence proving that I hacked into the computer system during a bar exam. Other than that, I mean, our marriage is based on nothing but love. Hold on, Arnold. This is Mama. Hey, Mama. What? You fell? Oh my god, I'll be right there. I don't know if I gotta go, but we'll continue this conversation. Mama, see me? That's my name. Cause I got your heart, but he got the right So forget all the nights We fucked in the lights To dim up the nights Fuck all those fucking good nights I swear I miss fucking you right I know he ain't fucking you right Cause you texting me through the night